So firstly, what actually are artifacts? Well, artifacts are objects in the game which give your character certain passive bonuses if he owns them. These objects are then passed down from generation to generation and a bit like titles, some characters can develop claims on certain artifacts. There's two different types of artifacts. Firstly, we have inventory artifacts, which you can access here by going to the inventory screen. And we also have court artifacts, which I'll touch on in a little bit. These items generally give you bonuses based on the certain type of item. For example here, we've got a fine sword, which gives us prowess, which makes a lot of sense. And we've also got armor, which does the same. So the type of artifact generally determines what sort of bonuses it's going to give you. The other type of artifacts are court artifacts. You can access the court artifacts if you're a king or an emperor by clicking this royal court button and going into the court artifacts tab. You can then click on all court artifacts and you can see what we own here. Again, the bonuses that you get here are relevant to the type of item. So these reliquaries give you piety, which makes sense. For example, the arm of St. George is relating to a saint, so it's going to give you some piety. Some other items we can see here are the crown of Justinian. This gives you bonus to your domain, vassal limit and court grandeur, which makes a lot of sense for the crown. Another thing worth noting is this crown is actually a special historical item, so it's always going to spawn at the start of the game. Historical artifacts can only be obtained using the adventurer inspiration, which I will talk about a little bit later. So how do we go about obtaining these artifacts? Well, there are a few ways. Firstly, we have inspirations. Secondly, we have antiquarians. And thirdly, we have claims. Let's have a look at each of those. Okay, let's take a quick look at how we actually fire inspirations. Well, what you do is you go into Royal Court, you go to the Court Grandeur screen, and then there's some tabs down on the left here that tell you which characters who are visiting your court have inspiration projects. Okay, so how do we actually go about getting inspirations? Well, you need to make sure you've got a nice high court grandeur. What court grandeur does is it attracts unlanded lords to your realm who will have these inspiration projects. The higher your court grandeur, the more likely you are to get these unlanded lords coming to your court rather than others, and then you can decide whether or not you want to fund their inspirations. So here we can see that Mara has the weave inspiration. She wants to weave something which captures nature's beauty. So you click on that and you'll see that you have a couple of options here. You can invite her to be a courtier or you can sponsor the inspiration. If we invite her to be a courtier, that still gives us the sponsor inspiration option. So if we click on that, we have to pay her 72 gold. She'll get a better opinion of us here as well. And then we click sponsor inspiration. So what's going to happen now is this bar is going to fill up with a 75% chance of progressing each month and at the end of it hopefully we should get a nice artifact. So I'm going to speed the game up and see what we end up with. You'll also see that there are certain random flavour events like this one here. Sometimes these are to do with progressing the inspiration, other times they just give you bonuses such as here we're getting either renown or we're getting piety. Okay, Mara has finished her inspiration. Let's see what she made us. She weaved us a Greek tapestry. This is going to give us 0.06 prestige per month and a court grandeur bonus. Let's quickly touch on what skills help you with your inspiration successes. So for this lady here, Mara, in order to improve her chances of success in weaving, it's the diplomacy skill that affects this. For weapons, the skills are martial and prowess, and that is the same for armor inspirations. For book or alchemy inspirations, it is the learning stat. For metalsmith items, this includes diplomacy, stewardship, and prowess. And for adventure inspirations, which we'll touch on shortly, it's diplomacy, learning, and prowess, which help your adventure succeed in getting the best artifact possible. I've just jumped back into the Royal Court. You'll see now that we have even more characters here with different inspirations. This guy here, Tiberius, has an adventure inspiration. An adventure inspiration lets us get a chance of getting a historical artifact. This is the only way to get historical artifacts, I believe. If you think I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead, recruit him to my court, and then sponsor the adventure inspiration. 
So after you fund an adventure, inspiration, sometimes you get a choice on what sort of artifact you want them to look for, or other times there is also an option of which region they are going to do the search for the artifact. Some historical artifacts are only available in certain regions, for example the Ark of the Covenant which is only available in Middle East, East Africa or Northern Africa. I'm going to ask him to bring us something truly unique this time and let's see what we get. Sometimes you will get flavour events like these where you either meet a hostile enemy or some kind of trader and you have options on what to do here. Usually there is a positive option to the quality of the inspiration if you manage to succeed in some kind of check. So let's spend the money here to try and get a higher quality inspiration. Sometimes the events also put forward the inspiration progress. So Tiberius is almost done as you can see in the inspiration progress. It's cost us 132 gold so far for this inspiration. So you've also got to consider the cost benefit of trying to get artifact because it is going to cost you gold potentially to boost the chances of getting a good artifact in these events. And finally Tiberius has returned with the great diamond from a foreign land. He's actually gone all the way to Tibet to get this one. It's going to give us prestige bonus, renown percentage increase bonus and attraction opinion and court grandeur bonus. So a fairly decent artifact. What's going to happen now is Tiberius is also going to get a bonus to being an antiquarian. So as I mentioned earlier, we can also recruit antiquarians to get us artifacts. In order to do that, we go to the court tab and then we go down to antiquarian. You'll notice that these are sorted in order of best to worst. Tiberius, who recently completed an adventure inspiration, now actually has a bonus here of plus 30. That's why he is good. This is also modified by their learning skill. So he's got a learning skill of 11, plus that 30 bonus. Some traits also modify this. Shy also helps. So he is good compared to these other characters. So we're going to select him as our antiquarian. Now, in order to get him to create an artifact, we go into the decisions tab and we click commission artifact. This is to create regular artifacts, not historic artifacts. So we click choose artifact and then we click whatever one we want. Let's go for a new friend. And he has managed to produce a crown of fine craftsmanship. You'll notice that there is an orange colour here for the type of item for the headgear. This tells us the quality of the artifact and it determines this durability. The higher the quality, the better the durability. So that brings me on to the next point of what we can use our antiquarians for and that is to repair our artifact. So if we jump back into the court artifacts tab, go into court artifacts, we can see that each of these items is decaying. If it gets to zero, that artifact is destroyed. So we need to maintain them. So we click reforge or repair and we get our antiquarian to do that. We can pay for each item in order to boost this back up to 100. And so the final thing to cover is claims and artifacts. There's a few ways you can find out what claims you've got. You go to the inventory screen and then click on your claims or you can go to the Royal Court, go to Court Artifacts and then click claims. As you can see we don't have any claims at the moment but as you go into the game you might lose artifacts in which case you will have claims on those artifacts. In order to get the artifacts back you'll have three options. You'll be able to steal the artifacts, go to war for them or try and challenge the person who has them to a duel. 